Hey guys, before I forget, today is a double header, but the second video is on Patreon for our patrons. And, and we did the, that video in Portugal. Yeah, we did a couple of videos in Portugal for for uh, Patreon only, so we're going to be posting them. We posted one last week, we're going to post one this week, and we have another one coming next week. Was yeah. They were recorded while we were in Portugal, so we had some extra time. So we created some content for, page, uh, for Patreon. I always have a hard time with that name. Yeah. So anyway, so the second video is Amorphous Black Winter Day. It's going to be available only for our patrons on Patreon. But we're here on this Sunday to check out Corpiclani. 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 <laughs> and let, let me try this. <clears throat> the thing is, you you have so much uh, pride in yourself because you uh, pronounced, what was that? Turmion Katilot. Correctly. Yeah, yeah. So you have so much pride. I, I, my finish is starting to come through. Finally, yeah. those lessons with Axel you and were, Petri are paying off. On the car home, you were, uh, he was like, ah. Oh, People were telling me I I, uh, I said the name right. Yes. I, I was like, I couldn't believe I said it right, but I did. So anyways, Corpiclani. We're here to do some Corpiclani. And the name of the song is Alon Alla. Alon Alla. It should be a lot Alon easier. Alon Alla. It should I be a lot easier, easier to say that name just because there's no dots. There was no dots. So, and I think I, pronounced, I, think I pressed that, that A on Alon Alla. See how I pressed that A yeah. a little bit longer? Because there's two of them. And they tend to press on the second syllable of the words. At least that's what I've been told. So and now... Axel and Petri are lying. No, but and other people have said that as well. So yeah. now people can post and say if I pronounce the name of the song correctly. I mean, I, I'm, I'm really hoping... I feel like you're getting, you're getting uh, Finnish lessons from our Finnish viewers. Yeah, yeah. Plus, I, I don't know which I'm more excited. I don't know if I'm more excited about Corpe Klani's brand new album that comes out in September. Or if I'm more excited about seeing them live in the great city of Toronto, Ontario... November 4th. I don't know which one has me the most excited. Now, there's going to be a huge chance that at that show, I'm going to be at the front because there's no railing. It's a small yeah. venue. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's at the Garrison, and the Garrison is the same place where I saw Insomnium. So it's a small, it's a it's a really small venue. So there's no railing. There's no security. Uh, like you, you, you can, like, you, you can touch like the, the stage. Yeah, very similar to the rock pile. Very similar to the rock pile. Uh, perhaps smaller than the rock pile. So, um, so anyway, so I'm going to be very close, and I plan on having a sign that says Misa on Vesa. And you're then, and the then on the other side, huh? you're going to do that for the emotion. I'm, I'm going to do that for every Finnish concert that I go to. Oh, I mean, that's every, a lot. Like I'm going to take take the same one. I'm not going to be doing multiple no. signs. It's just one and sign. On I'm, the other side, you're I want to do it on cardboard, so I can look like a homeless person. You know, like oh. the cardboard sign, like give me some change. I'm homeless. You know, those yeah. kind of things. So I'm gonna do on the other side. I'm gonna put kitos. So at the end of the concert, at the end of the concert, I flip it over. Oh, no, at the end or if they tell me song. where the toilet is, yeah. then I can I can say thank you for pointing me towards the toilet. You know, because you're standing there for so many hours. Like eventually, you do yeah. need to go to the toilet. Like let's face the facts. All right, so you're you're ready for this? Yeah. By the way, this is the third video that we've done. This is official lyric video. This is the third video. No, this is the, the fourth, fourth video from this upcoming album. I feel like by the time the album comes out, we have already yeah. listened to like most of the album. I've already so, pre-ordered the album. Uh, uh, I'm I'm getting it a couple a week before it comes out. Okay. Nuclear Blast sends it to me for review, so I I'll already did it. it. So, all right, let's do this.
I think I pronounced the name of the song right. Yeah. By the way, there's some. This is a lyric video, but there is some footage in the backdrop. Yeah. That's from their Vakan concert. Because I, I watch oh. the live stream uh, when Vakan was going on. I, I I only missed two. Of all the, not every single band was on the live stream, but of all the bands that were live streamed, I've only missed two. I missed Arch Enemy and Enciferum. I think those were the two that I missed. Um, but then Enciferum made up because we saw them in Portugal. Yeah. Acoustic. Acoustic, because they lost their instruments. So, which is, sad. which is sad, but it was a great performance. It was a badass performance. So, anyways, I just wanted to mention to you that that live footage. I, I I'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that was Vakan. That that was from Vakan this year. This year in Vakan, their performance. Which, by the way, their performance was really cool. I think it was on a on the Friday that they played, if I'm not mistaken. It was on the Friday Friday morning for us because I want you to get me the, the, the best looking T-shirt though. Which, uh, looking at the background of all their videos, I feel like all their t-shirts look amazing. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually interested to see what kind of merch they're going to bring. Because yeah. I wouldn't mind getting a hoodie or something like that. Uh, I also want to pick up something from the opening band, Arcona. We actually have to do at least one more video before the show. But the show is not until November, so we have time. Uh, but we did one. You know, remember her in the snow and yeah. the Russian band? That was actually pretty good. But anyways, about Korpi what, what what do you have to say about this song? So... I, I gotta say it. The we've done four songs so far. Four songs from the album. The one that I and, before this one. Yeah. Sorry, before this one, the one that I liked the most was the previous one. What was it? Harmagia. Uh, the one where they're in 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 the in the countryside, where the kid is was, trying to pick up the girl. I know, and whatever. I know, but there was the the Krona or whatever. Cronut. That yeah. was the first one. Uh, it wasn't Cronut, but we but, called it Cronut. Yeah. Uh, then there was the second one that I said should have been a duet, but, but it wasn't a duet. Yeah. And then there was a third one, which was the one in the which countryside. Which was kind of like the Cronut one, because they were both happy-go-lucky. Yeah, but the first one, the, the Cronut was a little bit more depressing. It was a little bit more sad. There was a little bit more sadness no. to it. Uh, well, that one, no, because they were both like kind of happy-go-lucky, more guitar uh, The third one was more than the first one. But anyways, and from all, for, up until now, the third one was the one I, I enjoyed the most. Yeah. Not that I didn't like the others. I just really liked that third one. Yeah. And those, those two, the third one and the first one, kind of have the similarities between them yeah the, but the, the second one and now this one have also similarities because both of them are like kind of you know there's a little bit more sadness to it yeah a little bit more darkness to it like a little bit of a dark vibe to not the happy go lucky apple picking kind uh, of I, I can agree with song, yeah i think song. i think if if I, I i think you're you're more you're you're correct in your yeah. assessment i think the first one and the third one there was more similarities between them in terms of a little bit more of an uplifting vibe to it if you will um, the the second and this one have more of a of a, not a depressing but more of a of a, of a sad yeah. of a dark aura to it. So we kind of went happy, sad, happy, sad. And I think the the, the album will perhaps give you that same yeah. same feel of of a little bit of a song that that takes you more on a high and then a song that brings you a little bit but more on a low. It's nice. You like that? You don't want the I, album I to be I, I like stale the, and all sound the same. I like listening to the happy ones because it's like I'm so happy, but then. After you listen to those ones, I'm like, okay. But the thing I like about this one, I want to sit down and listen to one of their sad ones. I, I like the, I, I, I really like the second one. I just yeah. really think they missed an opportunity to have it as a duet. I still think that. But this one, I like this one because I like how it's more, uh, more uh, dark, more sad, if you will, during the verses. Gets heavier. The song gets heavier in the yeah. chorus, and in the chorus, the the melody kicks up. Because you have the the violin and the accord, everything kind of kicks up, and I kind of like that dynamic. It's like it's it almost feels like he's he's having like a an introspective moment throughout yeah. the verses of the song, and then when it gets to the chorus, is when everything kind of builds up towards a certain point where where you get angry enough that everything just kind of comes out in a burst. So the song kind of feels like that. It feels like feels like you know he's he's speaking from his heart. And everything is coming out and then you know it gets to a point where damn it you know like you know i just can't get my message across yeah. or whatever it is and then it just happens and it comes harder and the, in the, font in the, in the, the font in the bottom kind of matches the song yeah i i really i really like that i really like how because... the, how the, the i like the dynamic of the song how yeah. the song has that that dynamic that fluidity to it and if the album is going to go like that so far, it's I like that. These guys I don't want like to make one some happy go lucky folk and some some more sad and down to earth yeah. music. But I, I'm I'm interested to see from the looks of it. Four songs now, it has that 
that wavy vibe yeah. to it. So I'm, I'm assuming the rest of the album perhaps will feel the same way. And like I said, that to me is important because you don't want to sit down and have from song one to song 12 sounding exactly the same. I mean, I want the songs to sound different, to give me different things, to, to, to uh, give me different elements, to give me different feelings because I, I, an album to me has to speak to me and has to take me on a journey for me to really enjoy the album fully, right? Yeah. So I feel like I need to be taken for a ride, if you will, and not really know what the next song is going to bring. And then within the song, not knowing how how the verses are going to match with the chorus, how the chorus is going to be, you know, built within the song. I, I like that because it just keeps you on your on your toes when you listen to the yeah. album. And, and it almost allows you to close your eyes and just be transported by the music throughout the whole album as the album being a journey and taking you from one song to the end of that journey. So you feel, it's like watching a movie. Yeah. There's the beginning, the middle, and then there's the end. There's the climax and then the end. So to me, an album, in order to really work as an album, for you to sit down and listen to an album, has to have that fluidity and, and that If, that if it, it goes like this, that means this album is literally an, an emotional roller coaster. And, a, and a journey. And sad. Happy, and a journey. Yeah. Because it, it, this album, to me, feels to, to be built like, like a book if you will, yeah. right? You have the first chapter, second chapter, and you're building towards a climax and then towards the end of that book. So to me, the album so far from the songs we heard really feel like it's been created to, to feel almost like a novel, you know, like like an audio book. Yeah. Instead of you reading, you're listening to it, but it's a, it's a book. And then there's a, there's a reason why, the, I'm sure there's gonna be a reason why each song is gonna follow in a certain order. So it can tell you the story and it can give you those highs and those lows that we all have in our own lives. We have happy moments, we have sad moments, followed by happy moments, followed by sad moments. So also, really excited about and this. And those live parts, I don't know if we said this in the last um, video, but uh, what's it called? They look, uh, the lead singer, he kind of looks like uh, one of the guys from uh, the Canadian Pickers. We've never said that, but... Uh, if you don't know what the Canadian Pickers are, they're like cowboy versions of the American Pickers. Uh, what about if they don't know what the American Pickers are? Well, search it out. <laughs> What did you, the Canadian pickers are two dudes from Calgary, so obviously they look like cowboys. They look They're like cowboys. Calgary. But the lead singer from Corpiclani does Corpiclani. look like one of the guys from Canadian pickers. Uh, he could totally f fit it into that show for sure. The first time I saw the video, I thought about it. We talked about it yeah. off camera, but we never mentioned it in the video. Anyways, guys, this is it for today. Check out our video on Patreon if you are a, a, a patron. If you're not, you know, consider signing up yeah. and then you'll get some extra content. On our, our on our Patreon page. I always have a hard time with that. Anyways, guys, see you guys tomorrow for our Monday doubleheader. See ya.